Hello, Scuba here. Welcome back to Warcraft. I want to show you something cool. Something very cool. So let's check it out. You might already be able to see what it is. But to make sure, let's go up here. Look at this. I've installed a mod called Bobby. And Bobby makes you able to set the render distance way higher than the surface max render distance by storing the chunks on your hard drive and only loading the visuals for it. So now we can finally see everything in its full glory. Okay, wait, let me just go inside our base for a bit and let's use the free cam mod to see everything. Look at this, this is so cool. We can see our full base over here with our storage hall over there. At the same time we can see the dome, we can see the spawn. I mean, I never realized that we were actually this close to spawn. I thought it was a bit further. We could never see it in full. I did get rid of the fog effect and stuff like that to be able to see further, but yeah, this is amazing. But what happened here? My painting. That's better. Anyway. I have been stocking up the shop. So let's take a look. And also I did the interior. Here we are. And I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna lower the rendering distance uh, quickly again. Because this is not good for the frames. And there we go. So. I've been decorating a bit. So I made this uh, little seating area here with some... Some plants and stuff. I named the store Scuba's General Boost for now. And I've been working on the interior. So, we are selling all the types of wood over here. And sticks. And I think I'm gonna put apples in this barrel. And over here, we are selling all the stuff for the warp wood and for the crimson wood. And I still want to do a bit over here, like this, with armor stands, but I'm really, really bad at that. So, I'm gonna do that at a later point. <laughs> anyway, we also have the shroom lights, uh, that is a product of the same farm as all of this. And we're of course selling the totems of undying and emerald blocks. And if we go upstairs, yeah, it's not that pretty over here. <laughs> um, I've just put down some barrels and I've just left it like this. Because, you know, I don't need that much room yet. So I'm first gonna fill up the first floor. And if we need more room, we can actually use the, the attic over here. So, right now, we are open for business. Oh yeah! So, with our shop finally stocked, it's time to start working on the exterior of my mega base. And, as you can see, I'm gonna need lots and lots of copper. So I'm here on a pillar, and a few weeks I found a mega vein of copper, so... I'm here on top of this pillar, and watch this, I've learned this from Grian. That was a lot of copper. Let's see what we've got. We've got 5 full chokers, and one with almost 5 stacks. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of copper. Uh, now I have a problem. You see, up until now, I've been smelting everything in these little two furnaces over here. 
And this ain't gonna cut it for five shulkers full of raw copper. That's not gonna work. Hmm. I don't really know what to do about that. You see, I do have a super smelter design. But it's very big. And I don't really know yet where I can build this in my main base. So, I'm not gonna build it yet. What to do, what to do. Well, we'll figure it out later. Somebody opened all my trapdoors on the shop. <laughs> Let's get it back. <laughs> Damn neighborhood kids! So, I started smelting everything over here. It's gonna take a while, but I found out I still have more than three stacks of copper here. That's gonna be very useful. I'm gonna lay this out so we can start aging this. Let's go! Man, that was a lot of work. Look at all this copper. I am about to place down my last stack of unoxidized copper. And then we're done for, well, the first part of the base. And then I have to find more copper probably for the next part of the base. But anyway, before I place these down, let me show you how much copper we got. There we go, we, we have about half a shulker full of oxidized copper. And of course we also have all of this. So I'm gonna get everything that's been oxidized and we're, we'll get a final tally for that. There we go, we still have a little bit of copper left over here. I see this one here turned just now so let's pick up that one so this is I guess about two stacks maybe one or two stacks are still on the floor let's see we've got four and a half stacks more and <laughs> damn we got a lot of copper out of one vein well actually Four of those stacks we had before, I guess. And that actually means, by the way, that I've got my materials to start work on the front of our base. And while I was making the copper field, I also cleared out a bunch of trees here because we need some more room here for the front. So! Let's hop into a time lapse and let's build the front of this thing. Let's go. Yeah, I forgot something. So, I'm here in the end for a while. By the way, the end looks amazing with these shaders. These are called the complementary shaders. I'll link them in the description. There we go, that's the last shulker that I'm gonna mine for this. We've got four shulkers full of endstone now. So that should be enough for the rest of the project, I think. Okay, now I think we actually have everything. So let's hop into the time lapse. Let's go! It's better to wax your copper before putting it in the stone cutter. I learned that the hard way here. <laughs> anyway, the front of the build is now done. Well, except for this part. I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with the entrance yet. But I can tell you we're looking for like this temple thing. And 
my inspiration is from a temple called the Kailas Temple. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. The Kailas Temple, the Kailas Temple, something like that. But we're gonna build something that looks like it. And originally I wanted to carve it out. Um, it, yeah, that temple, uh, it's carved out of a mountain. And I wanted to carve out this mountain and then make something like that. But then I started work on the design and I figured I just want to put it on top of our mountain here. I took heavy inspiration from that temple, but I'm not going to carve it out. I'm too lazy for that. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I actually told you this in the previous recordings, but I actually used these two smelters to smelt all of that copper. And in the end, I just put eight smelters right here, eight furnaces, uh, to speed things up while I was playing some other games. And that took about four hours, something like that. Anyway, the build is looking great. But I wonder what it looks like from a distance. So let's go to our video settings. And let's use Bobby again. There it is, it's loading in. Let's go somewhere else. So we're here at our little peninsula here. And I was thinking of moving our portal over here. Because this is more like a central area for everything. And then I would get one more portal for over there. But I'm not sure yet. But let's see if we can see our base from here. And oh yeah. That looks amazing. And it's gonna be even bigger. It's gonna have like a tower be uh, behind this and two towers on the right and more towers behind it. It's gonna be absolutely massive. And let's check it out from here. So if we walk over here, we should... Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, wait a second. We're gonna fix this. That should be better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's looking super cool. I did leave this tree over here because it has a beehive on it, so I can't remove that yet. These bees are <laughs> from that hive and they've actually been visiting in my base, so I kind of like it. I just had a random bee like floating around here and going back to his home before I could press record, sadly. But they're very much welcome to get back in again. Bees. Oh, we should also look at it. At our base. From the dome. This thing is gonna be massive. Enormous. Gigantic. So this is like only 1 16th of the length. It's gonna be way bigger in that direction. Yeah, this thing is just looking great. Uh, okay, so if you view it from the, from the side, it's gonna be like this big. So I think we, we have done an eighth of the building maybe. But this ties it up in the landscape so much better than just a floating hallway. I do need to do some terraforming here. But that's gonna be for a later point. I think I'm gonna do that all in one go when we finish this build. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>